Hope is like losing her mind because uh, everything's everything's changing. She's getting so upset and stressy. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Hope that you are all okay. Today is really, really exciting. The living room is going to be finished. Oh, I'm so, so excited. I just wanted to start this vlog though. You've got things to say. You've got things to say too. <laughs> I wanted to start this vlog by saying a big, big thank you. Because, I mean, I didn't say anything when we when we got to 20,000 subscribers. I don't know why I had that thing of like, you know, playing down things in general. Um, but yeah, it's a massive, massive deal. And it's gone to 21,000, I think, like this last this last week and i just wanted to say hello to everyone who is new here and thank you so much for subscribing you are so welcome to this little corner of the internet and i'm so so happy to have you here and yeah i just wanted to say a huge thank you for all the support all the lovely comments it's just an absolute joy and i feel like my heart is just full 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 of um of gratitude so i wanted to start the vlog by um by saying that but yeah today the living room is going to be finished um so i've already done a few bits with the living room and i will insert a like a before clip of when i first moved in so that you can see what i was dealing with a um a year ago so i mean not too not too much has actually changed since then the main thing is that the brown carpet has gone and i put a wooden floor down um and generally just like tidied it up i've changed the um the light fitting actually i'll i'll show you hang on okay so we are all set for craig to arrive but yeah i was looking you know i moved in and the walls were like they were already they were already um white but the brown carpet that was down that went and i showed you i showed you that so what i did was put a it's not a solid oak but it is it is wood it's an engineered wooden floor down and i literally just put down the cheapest one that i could find that was the kind of colour that I was um, that I was going for, and I will leave a a link to that for you. And then the light fitting that I put up was this one because it was kind of like one of those like a you know, like a spotlight on a on a spoke sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's made a, that's made a nice difference. That was really, really pretty. And then the curtain pole, that was already here when I moved in, which I felt really grateful for because it's my colour, <laughs> it's brass, it's in the ideal place. Um, but the, the curtains I have, they were, they were put up as well. Um, I don't like them like that, but never mind. This is very much the uh, this is very much the before. But I just cannot wait. Oh, the socket was changed as well, wasn't it? You remember, like with the the telly, that big wire sort of went over there. That got um, that got piped away down there, and a the socket was was removed there just to just to sort of slim everything out. But yeah, today it's going to, I think it's going to feel like really, really finished because the colour that I want is going on the walls. And then I think it's going to be a really good like styling, decluttering exercise to I when mean, everything's just piled up in the other room over there. I think it's going to be a really great exercise in terms of being really intentional with what I want in this room and asking myself the question, you know, what do I want to bring back? Um, so I'm really, really excited for this. In terms of colours, I've got my little soldiers all lined up. So the window is going to be done in Winborne White eggshell. So it's like for interior, interior wood. And I already had loads of that. And I love that colour. Now, if you remember, 
when I did the whole choosing colours thing, and I'll leave a link to that vlog if you haven't already seen that, I decided to go with pointing on the walls and I put pointing on in the bedroom, which was like the last makeover vlog that I did. I have found it a little bit too yellow on. So <laughs> I have decided to go with my all time favorite color, Wimborne White in the, in the living room to see how that matches up. And I know that this is gonna be like a, it's got a hint of yellow in it, but it's not as, as cream, like the pointing really feels like a vanilla ice cream. And I think, I think it's just a, maybe a little bit too, little bit too much. So I'm glad I've been doing it like one room at a time so I can, so I can make those tweaks and I didn't just buy rivers of the, um, of the same color, but this is what's going on the wall. So it's Wimborne white, Farrow and Ball in a state emulsion. And then for the skirting boards and the door, I'm gonna go with Dimity, which is the color that I used last time in the bedroom. And honestly, I absolutely love this color. It's like a, it's like a beigey, but with a hint of pink, but it's like just so subtle and beautiful. I absolutely love it. And then there's the white and light tones primer. So that's gonna go underneath the dimity so i've kept the colors really really simple i haven't got three i've just got two i've got wimborne white and dimity and i'll leave a link to to those if you want to um if you want to go and have a look at them but i'm feeling confident because i've seen those two colors next to each other in the bedroom and i absolutely love them Full stop. can't believe i live in your thoughts you all the time morning evening and midnight such a wonderful delight Forgo, give up everything that i own yeah i'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow unexpected love was found Rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say that I love you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You, ooh, ooh. Okay, so there's two. Coats of paint on the walls, and I absolutely love this colour. So, so beautiful. Really, really happy. As we hold each other.
so it's been a couple of days <laughs> since we last spoke um decorating took two days and then i had that like rush of wanting to get everything back together perfectly really really quickly and you know tie everything up in a really neat little bow um, and then i came to my books and i was like no i really need to like just take my time with this and really just decide like where i want things and then like spend a a night or two actually living with it how I think I want it before showing you. I've done that now, I'm feeling, uh, I'm just feeling really, really good about this place right now. So I will give you a little living room tour. <laughs> I think Hope is very happy with the decorating, aren't you? <laughs> so this is it. I'm really conscious that like, I know most of you live in the UK, um, from what I've seen of like analytics and stuff on YouTube, but I know that like the second most common place is America, and I know that this living room is just gonna seem so, so tiny <laughs> to you guys, and it, it definitely is. You know, it is well and truly a proper old-fashioned English country cottage living room, and this you know, this is it, like there's no door into anywhere else in the house, like you have the stairs over there and the kitchen is um, is through this, this walkway behind me. So this is it. And for that reason, even though it is, you know, I consider this a very, very simple living room, I think it does, it, I don't think it looks cluttered, but I think it looks, you know, it looks full. Um, but that is because it's tiny and I still need, you know, a certain amount of furniture and <laughs> and um, and stuff, but hi honey, <laughs> I'm okay with that. So I'm really, really happy with this colour. I, yes, I do wish I'd gone with Wimborne White upstairs as well, but I'm glad that I, I had that experiment, but I'm just, I am just so, so happy with it. It's the perfect off white it's definitely not cream it just it's just so so beautiful and you can see the contrast there quite nicely actually i absolutely adore it with dimity on the um on the woodwork i think that that looks really really nice it's just everything that i you know that i wanted from from my mood board so like my number number one rule with you know, and I do go through my personal process of building a very simplified, organized, intentional home in my ebook, A Simplified Home, which takes you through the entire process, everything I've learned throughout my own minimalist journey. And I will leave a link to that if that sounds like something that you would, you know, you'd like to, um, to work through. People have absolutely loved it. And, you know, my number one rule with building spaces, creating spaces, is to firstly really think about what you want that space to be, like what you need it to be and how you want it to feel. So the purpose of this room is to relax in. So I thought about, you know, what I do in here, I watch telly, I watch my laptop, I work in here as well, I eat in here, I read in here, and socialize in here on the, uh, <laughs> on the very odd occasion. And that is what it is, it is designed for. Socialising wise, uh, <laughs> I'm not someone who has a big family, obviously. I live alone, but I do have people that, you know, that come around sometimes. So they, I, I just have enough seating for what I personally need. So that is why I have this amount of seating. And I love that like this chair is opposite the, um, the sofa because that just creates a really nice social conversation type dynamic as opposed to everyone just staring at the telly and the telly is very purposely in the corner because obviously I have this beautiful beautiful fireplace and that should absolutely take take priority the coffee table I've kept super super simple uh, there's a photograph album underneath there which was a, um, a present but I still haven't started uh, building those yet and then there's a candle because I absolutely love 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 candles I burn them every single day 
Um, I have two more here. Like I've really simplified this this little bit, and I'm really um, I'm really happy with that. This candle is actually uh, <laughs> is actually broken, and I need to uh, I need to get a couple a couple more. But yeah, I love that every you know like the sofa faces the um, the fireplace. That is that is very much on purpose. Storage wise, when I first moved in, there were doors on this bit here and I wanted like obviously I love 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 books and I really wanted those to be on display so I took those doors off to open it up a little bit and I'm really really pleased with that result and I have colour coded my books which oh so many of you said to do this and I'm so so happy with it I haven't like I've just gone for colours that kind of made sense and done it according to eye without making it too perfect I didn't want it too perfect but what I found really really interesting and you'll have to let me know if you have the same like I have mostly look I have mostly white books and pink books and those are my two favorite colors which I think yeah like, am I attracted to buying more white or pink books clearly um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with uh, with how that's worked out. And then in this cupboard here, this is where I keep all sentimental stuff. And then general storage goes in here. So I keep like all my camera equipment in there. That's a French vintage cabinet that I got from one of my favourite vintage furniture shops, which I will I will leave a link for you. It's from Louisa Grace Interiors. Um, if there's anything that like you want to know where it's from, just ask me in the comments and I'll I'll let you know. But I'll try and leave a link to as much as possible. So the chair is from Loaf. The sofa is from Loaf. This was like a, not second hand, but it was like an ex-display one that I got. And the coffee table was from Maison du Monde. And then over in the corner, I've got a nice lovely lamp that was from that was from a job that I did with Habitat I've got my this was a Christmas present that I've just absolutely fallen in love with this is a white company I think it's called a diffuser you like you put water in it and then an oil and it um you know all like comes out the top it's it's gorgeous and then I've got Dolly here which you know it <laughs> doesn't clutter the table but it means the side table's quite full but it's a personal thing I I love having Dolly here with me I want her in the living room with me I talk to her all the time so that is uh yeah that's really really important and then Hope's Toys I um I went through cleared out so her basket is is there and then this is the view from this side of the room the curtains Craig put them back up, bless him, which I'm really, really grateful for, but I feel like I need to rearrange them <laughs> a little bit. But I am, uh, yeah, I'm just really happy with how all these, all these colours go together. And then I like how there's green next to the window because I feel like it really, you know, brings in that green from the outside. And I just think having plants in the house is so good for mental well-being. And yeah, I um, love, love, love how that has uh, how that has all come together. Um, I like how they drape on the floor as well. I might have a go with um, taping them to make them a little bit shorter, but you know, I'm okay with that. And then the last thing, like just one piece of artwork. Oh, I'll show it you in a bit more detail. One piece of artwork on the wall. This is really sentimental to me. This is a picture painting from my grandparents house and I don't know I just love it the colors like really speak to me they're my sort of color palette and it, it just really means a lot to me that it's from that it's from my nan and granddad's house and that is about it that is a full <laughs> that is a full very small very simple uh, but you know intentional and functional living room tour you know I've talked about this 
a lot before but honestly the more that I do to this place and the more that I allow my internal self to flow outward into it so that I can see you know my own personal style my own personal identity reflecting back at me just the better it makes me feel I'm so so happy with how this room has um has turned out like I remember last year when I first moved in and I remember unloading the books onto the bookshelves and just feeling so upset because like I always saw the the beauty and the bones of this house but I knew that the you know there's there always is like there were things to to do and it you know it was dirty and I knew that it needed work and I remember just feeling so upset and like it was going to take me forever could I even do it and I mean literally all that's happened is it's been, it's been decorated there's nothing massive gone on but it's felt like a really big deal maybe because it's the first house that I've done on my own I'm not I'm not really sure um, but yeah just absolutely no regrets and I'm feeling like yeah you know creating a nice external space is really a reflection of how I'm feeling about myself right now and it's all it's all linking in really really beautifully I feel like I haven't thought thought much of myself like my self-worth has been seriously on the rocks for the last definitely you know the last year I've really really been struggling and I'm starting to feel so much better about myself I'm starting to want to care for myself again to nurture myself again in a way that I haven't felt for quite a while um oh I'm not gonna cry <laughs> makes me feel really emotional but seriously you know creating a beautiful space to live in it is so 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 important it is an emotional process and yeah it's um it's really really reflecting oh just one more thing that i want to show you i did change it's kind of a bit dark there i did change the door handles like these doors are <laughs> these doors are super super El cheapos there's nothing you know nothing fancy about them um, they they're not expensive they're not solid or anything like that but I just think that putting a really beautiful high quality paint on there a gorgeous fire and ball color and changing the doorknob has made it look so much more cohesive more expensive and yeah that just you know it wasn't wasn't a giant makeover um, I'll leave a link to these door handles. They're um, they're solid brass, and they're from an an Etsy shop that I found. I'm gonna leave it at this today because I feel like this week's vlog is just tied up really, really nicely as like a you know an interiors makeover kind of vlog. Hopefully, you've enjoyed seeing it come to life. Hopefully, like it's really, really hard to make sure that what you know the real life like transfers through to the uh, camera so hopefully you can see and i'll see when i'm editing it on the way back um hopefully you can see like the difference that it has made because i've kept the colors quite similar so it's no drastic um change and i've only taken like a few a few little bits out but it just feels so 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 much better and i'm absolutely um absolutely thrilled with it but yeah hopefully you have enjoyed watching it again like i said at the beginning of this vlog thank you so so much for being here for all the support it just it just means the um the absolute will to me so what's up <laughs> i think she's ready for a walk <laughs> it means the absolute will to me i cannot Thank you enough. I, you know, I hope that you're okay. Hope that you've had a lovely weekend, and I will uh, see you in the next one.